Aggies and welcome to UC Davis. My name is Joanna Plumi and I'm going to be a second year biological sciences major. One of the biggest challenges I have faced with online learning is time management. Some of my classes with larger enrollments switched in a synchronous format, meaning that I have to watch the lectures in my own time. Therefore, managing my time efficiently became key and I started using Google Calendar to structure my day efficiently. And I'd recommend that you also use the Google Calendar or some similar app. I'm going to share my screen now to show you what a typical week might look like for me and how I structure it. Um, so this is week 10 for me. Um, I added all of my lectures and my labs um, as well as some calls that I would have with my friends and my extracurricular activities. And I always use the time, like all like the blank space that you are seeing um, to study. And ultimately, um, I'm able to always go to a bed to bed in a reasonable time and feel like I'm making the best use of my time. Hello, Inkomi Aggies. This is Esther. And I know some of you may worry about how to get involved in UC Davis in an online quarter. Um, so I want to share one way with you today. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen now. So go to Google and type Aggie Life UC Davis and choose the one that UC Davis Aggie Life Explore. So we click that one and this is the home page of the Aggie Life Explore. Um, and then we click the one, the organization icon. So in the organization icon, we can type keywords. So I type the Chinese and or you can choose different categories. So for example, I'm interested in Davis Chinese Orchestra um, clubs and then I have an option to join them or contact them. And here are their social media accounts. Yeah, and I hope my short clip is really helpful for you to start your own journey in UC Davis. Hello, and coming out is my name is just Xavier, and I'm a third year computer science and engineering major. Coming into UC Davis, a lot of us may be concerned about our academic success here, but here are a couple of tips to get you through the year. Tip number one: utilizing the resources and facilities offered by UC Davis. The Academic Assistance and Tutoring Center is a way for you to connect with tutors as well as peers who can help you with your work. These peers are a perfect way for you to keep up with the work in your classes. Tip number two, utilizing office hours. Office hours are a perfect way to get to know your professors as well as your TAs and to ensure you're keeping up with all of your work in all of your classes. These tips should ensure your success here at UC Davis, and I wish you the best of luck. Hey everyone, my name is Wan Ying Zhang. I'm a third year student majoring in managerial economics. Throughout the quarter, you might feel a little bit stressed. So here, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to deal with stress, especially when you are working at home. Tip number one, actively communicate with your professors. Understand that professors are more willing to help you than to give you a hard time. Do not hesitate to contact them when you need help. Tip number two, if you are not in the study mood, don't force yourself. It is totally fine if you cannot find yourself in the study mood. Don't blame yourself. Give yourself a break. But before you go to bed, make yourself a plan for tomorrow and start with an effective morning on the next day. Tip number three, put your cell phone away during lectures. I found that whenever I use my phone during a recorded lecture, I usually spend 50% of the time on my phone. So when going into a lecture, take a deep breath and put your cell phones away and concentrate on the lecture. It will be less stressful later when you are reviewing for the exams. These are my tips for dealing with stress and I wish you have a great academic year.